Hello, my name is Ellie Wilgus, and for my independent study project, I um, did the immediate effects of hyperthermia on the functions of the body. And so I'd like to know, raise your hand if you've ever been cold. Okay, one or two of you. Um, so how I did this was I used an ice bath to mimic the um, environment of hypothermia, and I tested vital signs, and I did um, body temperature, heart rate, respiratory rate, and blood pressure. And I tested these before, during, and after an ice bath. And the temperature of my water was between 45 and 50 degrees. And that is really cold. And I had um, my participants stay in the water for 12 minutes. So um, this is a picture of me getting tested beforehand. So I took the baseline of all the vitals. And that's at minute zero for each um, graph. And then I did it directly after, which was at minute 12, and that's the end one. And then 3, 6, and 9 were during the ice bath itself. So I had this is an example. This is Aubrey Birkin. Shout out. Um, I had her hooked up to a, a blood pressure monitor, which did blood pressure and heart rate. And she was in charge of counting her breaths for respiratory. And then she had a thermometer in her mouth the whole time, measuring body temperature. So um, most of my tests went along with my hypothesis because I did think that um, heart rate and respiratory rate would both um, increase as you were subjected to like the cold temperature. And respiratory rate really did spike. And it makes sense because like when you get cold and you shiver, kind of your um, you start breathing faster. And it's harder for you to get air in. So that went along with my hypothesis. And then it kind of eased out over the course of the bath. And then heart rate also spiked a little bit. But then it was more, um, there was more air in that one. And it wasn't as. Um, following a trend, but it did spike at the beginning. And then body temperature made a lot of sense. Like, you're sitting in cold water, your body temperature is going to like decrease a little bit. And it was only between two degrees that it was affected, but it did show trend. And that's what I did for my ISP.